No event has represented a town so effectively in the last seven years as the Jostra de la Quintana of Foligna. It was created to soothe the mood and heal the wounds caused by the war. It has maintained the purpose of a great town festival and, above all, it has managed to restore the social fabric. Its transverse nature and the opportunity it offers to gather people with a different social and political background has always ensured its great success. This marvelous festival in the town of Foligno has always benefited from its ample resource of passionate volunteers. The Quintana, therefore, is an accurate display of a town as it was four centuries ago and an opportunity to portray its values. Such values are embodied by the activities of ten quarters that make up the social structure. The quarters are places where people meet to have fun, take care of the many activities linked to the event, and work constantly to improve the town. 1946 was very important for this town, not only for the recovery after the war, but also because in 1946 an ancient game was Reber, the Jostra de la Quintana. In that exact period, the Mutual Aid Association of Workers, Farmers and other inhabitants of the town wanted to celebrate the 18th anniversary of its foundation in a special way. After considering several hypotheses, the town chose the idea proposed by Emilio de Pasquale, the secretary to the Bishop of Foligno, who proposed the reenactment of an ancient equestrian competition in Baroque costume. The value of his idea was embraced by the people of the town, who realized that this event could represent an opportunity to recover from the destructive experience caused by the war and to restore the social fabric that was turned by civil war. That group of citizens created the first Comitato Centrale, that is, a central committee which, between the 25th of July and the 14th of September, managed to involve the whole town. We are more and more convinced that the values established in 1946 laid the foundation for the recent history of the town, thanks to a qualified board of directors that is composed by presidents, elected members, priors and councillors. This festive just, the most fascinating among all the equestrian competitions, is the result of traditions and historical commemoration. The town recognizes its significance, underlying its great energy, liveliness and the opportunity to meet for the same purpose. Volunteering is fundamental to the movement of this organization. In fact, thanks to specific abilities and handicraft skills, qualified district inhabitants work behind the scenes to choose and tailor the costumes, enhance the virtues of food and wines, and take care of the technical management of the stables. The people who belong to the Quintana feel united by a shared mission and have kept the values exalted by those who can be called the founders. These values take root in the Jostra, which took place in 1613, as it was narrated in detail by Ettore Tesorieri, patrician of Andrea and chancellor of the town. This festival has been involved in a variety of facets, that have concerned its inhabitants. In 1946, it helped bridge social harmony in the community after the war, and in 1997, it helped the community cope with a very difficult situation caused by a terrible earthquake, safeguarding the quality of the social fabric and rebuilding a new town center. The recent economic crisis hasn't weakened the festival that, on the contrary, reacted with ideas and projects based on its solid foundations. Those values inspired the rebirth of the ancient game and have become stronger, enabling the people of the Quintana to tackle difficult tasks. Last year, after the recent earthquakes, this festival was ready to operate in favor of the principle of solidarity. This is witnessed in a lot of images that confirm the various texts. From the birth of this event that emerged from the ruins of the Second World War to the marvelous display that has been included in the National Intangible Cultural Heritage. Many other events have contributed to the development of the Quintana. The extraordinary just in Rome during the Olympic Games, the birth of the taverns and the great gastronomy in 1975, 
the role of the duel that, in the period of the rebirth of the country, was exalted by two particularly resolute rival knights, Marcello Formica and Paolo Giusti. In the 80s, the live television Justin Tournament on Rai was very important, while Spanish fashion replacing French fashion was a new reenactment of the historical parade. It is important to remember two presidents of the Italian Republic, Sandro Pertini and Carlo Zelio Ciampi, who visited our town. The papal audiences with Pope John Paul II and Pope Benedict XVI, the first national lottery, the combination with the festival of the two worlds in Spoleto, and the displays abroad, such as the one in Barcelona in 1990. It's a pleasure to introduce the Gareggiare dei Convivi, that is the exaltation of the Baroque banquet and the carnival that 400 years later still transports the spectators back to the night of February 10th, 1613 in Piazza della Repubblica. Strong emotions grew from the amazing location of the Sacro Convento in Assisi to celebrate its 60th anniversary. It is important to mention the president of the region, Catusha Marini, who wore with passion a 17th century costume, an avant-garde just with anti-doping regulations, the best quality in Italy, with a new track which is worthy of Olympic justing. 71 intense years have passed, full of passion, which have painted the town with the ten colors of its heart, showing the charm of Foligno in all its splendor, which strikes those who experience it. Madonna e Messeri! Che il furigno vivete dentro le mura o fuori per le campagne amene, udite! Dame superbe, impreziosi broccati con i loro sorrisi alle genti intorno, e scintillar di lance i cruenti stroni, e saltar di focosi destrieri e l'ornitrire del divorare lo spazio, e gran virtute dei cavalieri eletti, e nembi di polve, e volitari di fiume, e grida! E gioia, e urla di vittoria! Ecco, vi attendono al campo dei giochi nel corruscar del vespro settembrino. Ecco, tra voi rinnovellata, torna la tensione della virtù e dell'onore che il premio porge al più bravo fra i bravi dei cavalieri in campo. Prezioso padre e sorriso di una donna illustre. Qual dei rioni? Attaccherà il desio di tor di mano al cavalier vincitor di Giostra, il lauro cinto in ultima tensione. Nasconde i cavalieri nel maneggiar di lancia alla corsa furente di veloce destriero, l'arma sua drizza alla desiata vittoria. E ciascun di voi ha il cavaliere eletto, cui fortuna e valore saranno il fanto di altissimo onore. Tutti accorrete e rivirate i brodi, tutti scendete nelle piazze, nelle vie e nel campo dei giochi e fate festa ai cavalieri vostri. Tutti accorrete, o tempi dei rioni, tutti accorrete a gioir di vittoria, anche se arrivi altrui che la concordia e l'amore della città di tutta!